We've all done some things we're not proud of on business trips, but Vince Vaughn, Dave Franco, Tom Wilkinson, and Nick Frost are taking the business trip to another level. Friday, March 6th, Unfinished Business will be in theaters. Unfinished Business. It's the story of a hardworking small business owner, Vince Vaughn, and his two associates, Tom Wilkinson and Dave Franco, who travel to Europe to close the most important deal of their lives. But what began as a routine business trip, goes off the rails in every imaginable and unimaginable way, including unplanned stops at a massive sex fetish event and a global economic summit. Plus, it's got Dave Franco's naked butt, tequila slaps, Tom Wilkinson smoking pot, awesome stuff. Search Unfinished Business Movie to watch the trailer and get your tickets now for the wildest business trip you've ever seen. Put your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. Well, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. How the fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? Look at the game tape. Donuts. If you wanna battle, it's either that you will or you won't. Hey, you know, you're not a bad looking man, Mr. Gal. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. There's something wrong with us. Something very, very wrong with us. Hey, man. I th- no, we, I thought you mentioned that. I told you that story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were at the Hungry Cat, right? Yeah, that's right. I told right. you that whole story. Oysters, not, happy certainly hour. Not, certainly, oh, we're rolling? <laughs> I like your rings. Uh, oh, Natasha thanks. Case and Freya Estrella, you guys are uh, uh, entrepreneurs. Yeah. We could say that because it's, it's Cool House, which is the ice cream company, and now uh, Estrella, uh, you know, you're not happy being in the, Natasha Case's uh, hey, let's get a truck and sell ice cream to uh, guys out in uh, Coachella Valley. You're like, fuck that Jello shot scoreboard, bitch. I got it. Je- yeah. Now you got a whole Jello shot company. I've huh. got a spirits company. So- and- oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah. What was it, I'm like, not ghosts? just the Jello shot lady. Okay. Was it like polter, like ghosts, <laughs> seances. Yeah. You Empire. sell spirits. Or more, more like you know, spiritual. Spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's shot, trending, but, right? Right. And now? we have shots of Philosophy. Jello here at Fake Mustache uh, Studios. Uh, in, well, it's a garage, but we give it a fancy name and before we go any further if anybody wants to buy anything through amazon don't go to amazon go to jmore.com use the amazon banner that is the absolute number way you could help this podcast buy things through amazon and email me what you bought i'll read it on the podcast and uh on my radio show so don't go to amazon go to jmore.com click the amazon banner you don't want to know why natasha uh amazon wants to know the David traffic Hasselhoff? They want no. to know the flow. <laughs> right. They want to know, like, wow, right. a lot of people come here through jmore.com, right? I'm not Get on Amazon, that money. though. I want to warn you. You don't have to be. You're Amazon not... Fresh, though. <clears throat> Amazon Fresh. See? There you go. There's all types of things. That's so true. you guys start Cool House, uh, C-O-O-L, but it's H A like Bauhaus, B-A-H-A. U.S. Cool house. H-A-U-S. House. Cool house. In the house. Exactly right. And... This is what impressed me about you two. I read an article about you on an airplane a couple of years ago in fucking Forbes magazine. Oh, shit. Of like Oops. millionaires under 30 years old. <laughs> when I was 30, I was like, uh, you know, <laughs> smoking pot and playing video games. And you guys are like, oh. We still do that. Yeah. We still- <laughs> well, you, that's you how we that. come up with all the crazy flavors, Jay. Come yeah. On. And I will say this. Uh, <laughs> upon arrival, it's Cool House and uh, the Jello. What's the official Jello launch? Oh, Ludlow Cocktails. Yeah. Com. Yeah. Uh, Ludlow, like Ludlow Street and Lower East Side. You of got it. Ludlow Cocktails dot com. You guys showed up with Jello shots, which are and you can cater weddings and stuff. I saw all the uh, photos on the Ludlow oh, Cocktails dot cre- com. Creeping on the website. Well, yeah. I awesome. want to see. And yeah. people, I you know what? It's in. <laughs> Possible <laughs> for anybody apparently to have one of those Jello shots and not have an orgasmic laughing face. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you like, beautiful. It's th- very Instagrammable. It's the thing it does. It makes you youthful and smarter. So it's instead of like proven it, by science. Okay. Actually. So instead of like Botox and serums and creams and stuff like that, you got to get a Ludlow cocktail uh, jelly party shot. And yeah. You, and you cater. 
Yeah, we cater. Now you can find the shots at uh, Fresh and Easy, Total Wine and More, online. So Wait, you can get an old-fashioned and bring your old-fashioned on airplanes. People sneak them into concerts, sporting events. And Where's actually, she- moms are the biggest demographic. I would bring an old man with me. And then if I, had, if I was still drinking, I had like 150 yeah. of them because that's what I would do. And they'd be like, you can't come in here with those. I'd, I'd point to the old man. I'd go, he can't chew. No, I, I told this Freya. This is his sustenance. It's Re- food. <laughs> Retirement homes. It's a great product for them. With You got no oh. teeth. You just get the jelly shot down. And you get a little bit of that buzz in there, and that's it. It's a perfect for, you, get you know. protein from the gelatin. Or for hospitals. You get a buzz from those jello <laughs> little, shots. For the you're going to be crushing Cool House ice cream. You know? let's, let's get it's to the true. basics. Let's, the reason yeah. you're here is because you fascinate me. And first of all, <laughs> and I'm being serious. Um, Thank you. A lot of people have been tweeting me, hey, man, lack of estrogen lately on uh, J Moore Sports. Aaron, gal from Cincinnati, diehard listener. Uh, Iggy's mom on Twitter. I think she's Ivory <laughs> Pistol 11. A lot of gals. Lady Moriers, they call okay. themselves. Oh, 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 that's like, awesome. They're it's like, like Cumber Bitches. My wife was like, <laughs> huh, what are they called? Cumber Bitches. Is Cum- the Cumber Batch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they're Cumber Bitches. Exactly. Uh, my wife, I believe, was like the last guest. And that's because we were driving through the <laughs> desert and we were stuck in traffic. So we just banged out a podcast uh, with my phone like this. And you got the dogs, too. You got, they were not in the car. Oh, it would have okay. been uh, useless. <laughs> you guys always you uh natasha you wanted to uh you went to culinary school i didn't i went to architecture school. oh that's what it was yeah. you made art you made art you you were in architecture school and then you made something and what i read in forbes magazine is your teacher said that looks like a layer cake yep and your response was but why are layer cakes bad layer cakes are awesome and then boom you were like let's do architecture and ice cream at the same time exactly now most people would just think all right, you're just making whatever. It's ice cream sandwiches. What's the big deal? The big deal is I can get like Lucky Charms and an ice cream sandwich. Now, how you guys, Natasha, how, did you go, were you one in the ground floor? Because I noticed she's CEO and she made you like executive vice president. That's <laughs> oh, kind of you a, mean the COO slash CFO? You know, the, what, the person that does all the yeah, hard, all stuff. dirty work. She's like, <laughs> fou- I didn't want to hog all of it. She's so. like founder and then you're like, also. Also founder. She made but you like. doing the bitch on work. drums. <laughs> yeah, Freya totally. Estrella. <laughs> So how, did you guys get in? You started at the exact same time together with the truck at Coachella. Yeah, we yeah, we founded the company together uh, right in the beginning. The whole it's our it's our. So then, you why know, do you have different titles? Uh, well, it's good to have the same vision and different skill sets. That's actually what you want. That's the way. But to get her it done. skill set, Estrella's Freya's Estrella's skill set uh, title seems much like kind of lower than you on the website. <laughs> well. She's I mean, no it really, longer Cool House anyway. So she's moved on to being her I own I got to CEO retire. And, founder, and, so. and I don't know if you know this, but Natasha and I are actually married. So Are you guys really married mm-hmm. in real yeah. life? Yeah, yeah. So Cool House is our love child. It is a lady party <laughs> right here. I could have married you. I, I, I lucked out. Oh, awesome. I mean, I lucked off. Well, we off, can't out, and doing our vows, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't want to be mind. presumptuous. We'll but, have a big part. How long have you guys been married? <laughs> Uh, now two and a half years. Is and it? you got married in California? No, because you couldn't because you fucking yeah. yeah. How ridiculous because, is that? Two vote, years ago, because people in Bakersfield are like, no, we don't <laughs> see them often enough. Or people in LA go, we see them all yeah. the time. Yeah. Sure, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we what, we did it in New York, and then we went and got dim sum after. So that was a pretty solid kind of best day ever. You're also very Jewish. It is, yeah. Exactly. We got married well, and we made. had Chinese. <laughs> I thought, you know, I'm Jewish, but then I finally I had an Uber driver uh, ask me, what does my name mean? And I never looked it up. And then I looked it up. Natasha means born on Christmas. I was like, I guess I'm not really Jewish then. So that was kind of a big. What's Freya mean? Uh, I am the Norwegian goddess of love and fertility. <laughs> is that really true? Yeah, I'm Thor's girlfriend and from which Friday is derived from. Freya. So yeah. I have a pretty cool name. How do you find out what your name? I don't know what my name Google. means. Let's Google that. The J O N John is my birth name. Oh, okay. Uh, so you guys got married in New York because you couldn't get married in California, which mm. brings me to we're going to get back to the truck at Coachella. <laughs> Basically, here's what you need to know about uh, these two gals from Cool House and from LudlowCocktails.com. Uh, they became multi, multi, multi millionaires because <laughs> they went, "Hey, let's get a broken down postal truck and sell ice cream sandwiches at Coachella." And you right now, everyone's slapping their foreheads going, ice cream sandwiches, the stoners. How the fuck did I not think of that? That's but true. Sometimes 
just uh, uh, probably a lot of people thought of it, but you bloody well did it. Yeah, How? we're pretty good yeah. at that. We're, we just, we're good at getting shit done. Yeah. How hard was it to get the truck? It was, I mean, it was challenging at the time because one, we had our other jobs. I was actually working at Disney Imagineering and Freya was in real estate. You were and an Imagineer? We no money. I was an Imagineer. Love it. That's right. I did the uh, Donald Duck suite at Tokyo Disneyland <laughs> and the Disneyland Hotel, the Tinkerberry, I mean, the Tink Tinkerbell uh, animation on the facade also. You went to your Disneyland, you worked at Disney World Tokyo. I, well, I, I did the design for the suite out of the LA office. Oh, yes. That's and my mom has been down. a lifetime. I thought they sent you to Tokyo. Yeah, to oh, that would have been way more <laughs> like, badass. Oh no, nope, nope. St stayed in the cubicle, but can't complain. Uh, but, uh, you know, and I, we had no money. It was totally self-starting. We used my personal credit card, which had a $5,000 limit to get the truck. And we bought it on Craigslist for 2,900 bucks. So what do you like how, like, Hey, I'm selling a broken down postal truck. They were definitely selling pot out of that truck. Don't you think? Prostate Fran? massage. <laughs> like I'm, other things that begin with P. Yeah. I mean, it had like awesome Chrome rims yes. though. It just really? didn't drive. Okay. So, <laughs> so then how do you get, so how much of the rest of the credit card goes to you guys? Here's the vision. I'm guessing. Okay. I got this idea. I want to combine architecture and food for architecture exactly. oh you're good you guys PhD. Call it. and what you do is you go if we could just get an ice cream truck that's unique and get it up to coachella people are going to lose their shit they're all going to be whacked out on ecstasy and pot and they're going to see us and they're not going to want to spend ten dollars for uh water and we can give them like these really cool oh my god it's a frankenberry sandwich man it's you gotta pretty... have it. and you're gonna run out of ice cream in like an hour which is essentially what happened i mean more or less and we, the truck didn't even drive by the way when we bought it so we had to basically scam triple a to get it to coachella explain we, we figured out that with a platinum membership you got one free 200 mile tow so that pretty much took it to the desert <laughs> And we, we pretended it was broke down the day they came, but it never drove in the first place. That's <laughs> amazing. And a great That's tip. That's called yeah. bootstrapping. It's a business yeah. term. It's a Lean business startup. Term. And a great tip. Oh, here's my name. According, uh, <laughs> God has given. Nice. My name means John, J-O-N. God That's has given. Uh, well, Corey, the engineer, looked it go. up, and thank I you mean, very much. I, that's what I'm saying. I never looked up Natasha after 31 years. <clears throat> Have you ever heard the Rufus Wainwright song, Natasha? No, actually. It's in between 14th Street and Vibrate off of Want One, I believe. It's okay. kind of, it's, nice. how many, it's a, you have a song I about mean, you. I also have uh, Boris from Rocky and Bullwinkle. That's no, a common I mean, one Rufus that I get. Rufus Wainwright drops, drops some lyrics you know, about that's, Natasha. All that's right. worth looking up. Okay, I'll check that out. Uh, <laughs> So, you, by the way, you just dropped amazing knowledge on all the listeners that they can get a free 200 mile tow. I think it's like four free 200 mile tows. Yeah. Four of them? Yeah, yeah. It's only like you have to get towed trip. back, right? Exactly. Well, with all that ice cream money, you're like, fuck it, we got a jet. What's up? Yeah. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I think the guy knew what was going on. He just felt sorry for us. So he put it on the flatbed and we were on our way. And then we didn't serve out of that truck. It was like disgusting. I think people like slept in it and charged their phones. And that was pretty much it. We had a booth next to it saying, okay, aspirationally, this is our truck. When we make some money at Coachella, we made some money. We used that money to fix up the truck. And then we got it out there like three weeks later for, for real, which was still a pretty dilapidated site. Let so me tell you this truck. $2,900 for a truck. Yeah. Okay. How much money did you make when you took that truck to Coachella to sell ice cream sandwiches? Like 5000 maybe. So you doubled almost just we, yes, we, one we were trip. cash flow positive in the first <laughs> event. Because we spent nothing. We borrowed $700 from Freya's mom and our friend Andy. Can you believe when we were 26, we didn't have $700? We had nothing. <laughs> we had each Poor other. Name. We had we, our we vision. We had credit cards. Were you guys always like a couple going all the way back? Uh, just No, we... Or just you ate so much ice cream and jello shots. You're like, let's just fucking get it together. <laughs> it, it all happened at once and there was no turning back, to be honest. That was it. So when you started, though, you weren't like a romantic couple. No, we were. We met November 2008 okay. and then started Cool House. House, April 2009. So 2009, and then Coachella was when? That was in April. Yeah. We incorporated oh, January 2009. Okay, so, we so 2009, you make before. five grand. You got to yeah. pay uh, Freya's mom $700 back. We did, right away. You got to redo your credit card, $2,900. <laughs> yes, I don't know if that ever happened. You're left with about $1,000 <laughs> yeah. to put between you, $500 <laughs> each. So Tax when, right from off. 2009, when do you go from that 
to like you're an actual like conglomerate a you're multi-millionaire you mean? yeah um so yeah. it took a while i mean we what do you mean a while you just said 2009 <laughs> and 2014 i'm still banging out this goddamn mortgage we're sitting on there <laughs> so you pricks you know like, you know jay it took I'm a, telling you took a while jj like i'm not, like four or five years it's crazy <laughs> like we didn't have a sitcom or anything we sold ice cream we went past you on a rocket ship <laughs> What yeah, jerks. you know, the first year, what what actually started to make us the money was the private catering. When we came back to L.A., we never foresaw that. People said, can you come to our office for, you know, what do you charge to do private catering? We didn't even know. We made something up. We started going to offices. We started going to film sets, weddings. And then we just hit the streets also selling the product. But we really, you know, hadn't hadn't thought that much about it ahead of time. I mean, it was an art project. Yeah. To begin with. Yeah. And then... Sort Not of, a, you, but you yeah. say that, and, and we I had know, all the PR. You, that was a big thing. Huh? Getting all the PR, the buzz, is what made it work. Well, you've had a it lot of the, buzz. The I mean, Zeitgeist. Food Network, and it, once you're on the Food Network with the Eat I Street mean, and all that stuff, the and, Jay Moore Show. I, this is it. It's more stories, but cool. <laughs> but you said it was an art project, but it wasn't an art project like for school. You guys had yeah. a vision to go get paid. Yeah, but you know, naming ice cream sandwiches after architects like Meese. Vanilla Row and Frank Berry is like kind of elitist and and hilarious. But here's and what so, makes it not elitist: you're the only two people that know what the fuck they mean. Yeah, yes. there's not one guy standing at a truck on Wilshire Boulevard going, "Whoa, Frank Gehry sandwich." Well, yeah, Frank Frank Gehry has been to the truck, so he does know. No, well, he knows. My dad's an architect; he knows. All right. Yeah. All right. So then, all right. <laughs> so that's Did two. You, okay, Plus but you two. sold millions. Yes, upon yes. It's not. Yes, it's upon, about more. It's yeah. a joke. Uh, it's like a table yeah. of one joke, but it's getting you paid, so that's fine. Yeah. Well, it gives us a different, you know, unique niche. Even if you don't get it, you know someone who's an architect, or you feel like you're part of something cool. And even if you don't get it at all, it's delicious. That's all that really matters. Yeah, it's they're not crazy. about being exclusive. I uh, right before we started, in full disclosure, I crushed <laughs> uh, salted caramel that was brought to me in a pint by. But it's cool house. Everything's fully uh, recyclable. It's great. You can see him on Twitter. <laughs> and it's eatcoolhouse.com. E-A-T-C-O-O-L. Whoa. Eat cool, like normal. And then house, like Bauhaus. Yes. H-A-U-S dot yes. com. Um, this is good stuff. And if you guys out there listening want some of the craziest ice cream you've ever eaten i am going to waddle through the weekend <laughs> i'm very excited about this it's awesome. and thank you for bringing uh treats and the bag that keeps all the ice cream uh cold and look at all those jello shots i'll put a photo up uh of that on my website when this airs the jello shots you're catering those to the weddings and like i said there, if you go to the website uh ledlowcocktails.com first of all you got to put in your age to get in like, yeah. it's, like it's porn, but it's, it's not porn. Yeah. It's just booze, which I thought it, is odd because I could just pick up People Magazine and see like a Bushmills ad on a page, yeah. right? The spirits industry is uh, a different beast. Every time you see spirits, I just picture like Casper the Ghost flying around <laughs> your hat. Like it's, it's spirits, spirit. Is that just, but that's what it is. Beer, wine, spirits. Yeah. I mean, actually our next <laughs> line, like which we're yeah. launching um, at the end of the year are like, canned and bottled ready to drink cocktails that are sort of i think we're gonna go a little healthy with it like you know people are doing now like juicing with their like vodka and okay. with their mezcal i want an alfalfa cosmopolitan but Smart. i don't want a bartender to make it i just want to take it off a shelf and chug it exactly before, before i get back in my car and yeah drive my mail route <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not who maybe just like who, when you're who chilling at home fancy cocktails in a can why not? Why can't we have an Aperol spritz like they drink in Italy here oh. in the United States? Yeah. You know what? You named the one drink where I went, you know what? She's right. Yeah, yeah See, let's do that. Degrees she out. does that a lot. You're in the San Fernando Valley at your friend's house. The only saving grace is that he has a pool because the house sucks. You hate the street. And then he brings out the spritz <laughs> and you're like, you're my man, bro. Yeah, a little carbonation, a little sweetness, a little bitterness. Yeah. Just a little buzz. And We're we not like talking it. about like... 50 proof or 40 proof yeah. like lo low so that's, ABV that's, that's you know and I part ways on the life of uh, uh, <laughs> on, on the road in life it's, but I don't know what the buzz looks, sounds like or we like to like. elevate the thing that you wouldn't expect like you know if you think about the ice cream sandwich it's people consider that to be like you know the Klondike or the, a lot of them are just not they're not 
they're not premium. They're not gourmet. And you elevate it. And same with the jelly shot. People think of that as the collegiate, you know, disgusting color not found. No, in when nature, you go to the website, it it's a different thing. Exactly. When you go to lovelococktails.com, yeah. I've never seen anything like it. And yeah. like, apparently anyone that's ever had these things near their face are like Abercrombie and Fitch model looking people. <laughs> like, there's not a mutt on that website. And I know by design, but I would think anybody, you guys are nice enough. Like if there was just a homely person having a nice Ludlow cocktail <laughs> jello shot, you of course would throw them on the website. We have for them, but we can't find them in LA. There's no, everybody on the website looks like a damn model jamming jello down their mouth and they're like, ah, this is the greatest thing <laughs> Yeah, ever and all those people are all of our friends. Yeah, we have incredibly attractive friends, yeah. I guess. <laughs> oh I never gosh. thought of it that way. Now, you know. I didn't get them to sign a release or anything, so you don't have we'll to. See. It's too, they were drunk. You got to go back the next day. Believe me, I've been through it. And here's the thing: people listening uh, to the podcast, it's appointment listening. And you say to yourself, "Wait a minute, JJ, are you really going to tell me that I'm going to spend the next hour and change uh, because these ladies sell ice cream sandwiches out of a truck?" And the answer is yes. And here's why: they had a vision. And they started with nothing and they charged to their credit card. And now <laughs> they will make more money than you and your great grandparents will make in three lifetimes combined. And quite frankly, I'm jealous because it's ice cream. Look, it's I'm ice cream fun. sandwiches at Coachella. Like when you go to the beach, there's a guy that walks up the beach like a little Mexican man with a cooler. And he's like, you know, Coco Halados. Like he's selling ice cream <laughs> on the beach, but he didn't go to Coachella. That's our competition. I know. Not yeah, really. No. No. She's in such There's a hurry. There's no competition. That's the She's thing. She's in such a hurry. She can't say the full <laughs> but word. But we, we do want to be the Ben and Jerry of our generation. You know, that's really the goal. We're thinking big. We're ambitious ladies. All right. Just the, you know, interracial, you know, married uh, women version. Yeah. What nationality are you? Filipino Chinese. I was going to guess Filipino yeah. Chinese. I would and not my original guessed. last name was Cohen, but my grandfather changed it to Case, and that's Ben Cohen of Ben and Jerry's last name. So you definitely have a Na Na Natasha Case like Inspector Gadget <laughs> hat outfit it's on. True. You look like a Natasha. <laughs> you have Spy. not met Natasha Case yet, sir, Mister Bond. <laughs> She'll feed you ice cream and Jello shots, and you will come around to our way of speaking here in Austria. Uh, let's give a little love to some uh, commercial sponsors and then I'm going to ask you guys about how hard it is to get married and how uh, some states are actually two completely different states I learned this from listening to Greg Proops and he had a very interesting point so uh, let's give a little love hold on one sec here we go Does shaving irritate your skin, give you nicks, bumps, razor burn? You've probably blamed your razor, but you know what? It's not the razor. It's the shaving gel or the shaving cream that you're using that isn't getting your face ready to be shaved. That's why you want to use Cremo. Cremo! How many times have you upgraded razors? You're just wasting your money. You got to use Cremo. That's what you needed to do all these years was simply upgrade your shave cream. Shaving gels and foams... They're mostly air. Look at the bottle. Read for yourself. It's air. Air is not a lubricant. Don't rub air on your face. It can cause irritation and discomfort. Plus, you'll just have a whole bunch of air on your face. Cremo. Impossibly slick. Foam-free shave cream. It comes in a tube, not a can. Almost any razor will glide effortlessly and comfortably over your sensitive skin with virtually no bumps, burn, or irritation. It's available at Target, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS Pharmacy, Red Cap White Tube Cremo. On Monday, Josh Liebarger made his status, Case of the Mondays, followed by a frowny face. It got one like and five comments, including dislike. Well, Josh, Geico also wants to make a comment to turn that emoji's frown upside down. In just 15 minutes, you could save hundreds of dollars on your car insurance by switching to Geico. With all that extra dough, why not give Monday a makeover? We see an office party in your future, hosted by you. Hashtag happy face. Hashtag savings. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I get very itchy, dry skin in the cold months. That's why I use Tricom. Tricom works like no other anti-itch product. A recent study shows that Tricom, five times more effective at reducing itch than 1% hydrocortisone, which, by the way, is a topical steroid. What are you going to do? Rub steroids into your hands? Have some crazy big steroid hands? You don't need that. You know what you need? Tricom. Steroid-free. It's a safe thing to use for your entire family. Children two years and older. 
You don't want to rub it on a baby. That'd be weird. It's fast absorbing. Tricom relieves winter itches, which gets worse during the colder, drier months. Tricom you can use in the warmer months, too, on bug bites. Poison ivy, poison oak, sumac, and other common skin irritations. Let me tell you something. Most people aren't aware that a product they use, like hydrocortisone, is a topical steroid. Most people have two to three anti-itch products in their medicine cabinets. Let me, do you know what that means? That means none of them work. That means none of them work if you have two or three. Get one. Get Tricom. Tricom is backed by the itch-free guarantee. If a user like you, let's say you get Tricom and you don't like it, you can use the entire thing and send them back an empty tube and they'll give you a full refund. Even after you use the whole thing. Tricom, my friends, get after it. So you guys, uh, Natasha Case and uh, Freya Estrella, they are the CEO, CFO, CMOs, Big Mama Got It Alls. Oh, okay. Uh, they are the uh, head motherfuckers in charge. The queens. The queens yeah. of Cool House, eatcoolhouse.com. And house is spelled H-A-U-S, like you're in a punk band, and ludlowcocktails.com. And all they did is they got a broken down postal truck they got AAA. They tricked AAA. You lied. Yeah. But that's fine with me. That's true. I mean, it was a scam. You know, we're, we had street to get it done. savvy. We had to yes. get it out yeah. there. Yes. Street smarts. Hey, what's with this van? I'm a platinum member of AAA. Tow my fucking truck to Coachella. <laughs> I got to go see Kid Rock for the fifth time, right? Something like that. He played at, at uh, that year at what's it called? Not, I was not almost Coachella, right. but the weekend. Oh, stagecoach. Stage coach. Yeah, oh, I was almost there. Pretty close. I was yeah. close. Yeah, the first year we did do both of them. Actually, very different crowd. Got to say. What event would you say was your single most? Like two days later, sitting in your house together, going, "I can't believe we made that much money." Like, what was what was in a, like a one event where you went, "Oh my god!" Not catering. Coachella is definitely up there, but in our other cities, I would say ACL. We we have uh, trucks in Austin. We do that festival. That's huge for us. And then Governor's Ball in New York, I think are. But I the remember biggest. the first LA Street Food Fest, and this is mm. when this is two thousand nine when like the truck thing was taking off, yeah. right? The gourmet food truck movement. And I remember Natasha coming home and just like throwing cash yeah. on her because it's all cash you know at this point like yeah. there $3, wasn't $3, there wasn't really like, like mobile payment systems yet oh, 2009 wow. like so it was just all cash and i remember just throwing it and she's like i can finally pay myself yeah. and i was like that's awesome because i've been pulling all of that weight for the last you know six months whatever. i'm gonna break you two up by the end of the podcast because i can hear a little <laughs> I, say, I can hear a little weight i can hear yeah i can hear huh? a little uh resentment <laughs> well, well now <laughs> now she voice. pulls all the weight i'm just a glorified housewife so see and then there's you mean the disappointment that you have the other job? now now <laughs> you've relegated her to like this uh house <laughs> status a filipino uh, a filipino Ch- housewife I wish, she would, I wish she would actually walk the dogs and be a little better at oh, it oh this is fantastic <laughs> if you guys break up on this podcast <laughs> I will play it two weeks in a row. <laughs> that would be amazing. It's like, where's my dinner? I, I don't know. It's we just, bring... Just, uh, she's like, what do I look like, a Filipino I mean, Chinese... Do the laundry uh, and fold it. What do I know? look like, a Filipino Chinese wife to you? And you're like, well... <laughs> Whoops. But here's, here's the thing that I just realized. It, when you were doing Coachella and Stagecoach and all that stuff in the street fairs, that was all like, hey, I would like... You, there's like a, a probably like a chalkboard with like five ten things on it and they ask you for it and you make it right there on the spot yeah so you have to make that transition from was that make to order right yeah, there is that exactly. what that's called yeah and then now all of a sudden you can order it and you probably have like warehouses of the stuff yeah like that's when you really turn the corner and yeah. start making the distribution mo- the scalability the, yeah now the three thousand dollars seems like adorable yeah. adorable yeah. yes no exactly i mean that first year we made a hundred grand from april to from december truck, just cash and trucks and we thought one that was truck amazing. We thought, oh. we thought that we were rich. And you don't even know this you part. I mean, you were. We you know were what Bootsy Collins told me? By. You know the basis? Bootsy yeah. Collins. It's Bootsy, baby. He <laughs> told me when he got paid by James Brown, I'm going back to what you said, we thought we were rich. Yeah. And I said, you were. <laughs> he asked James Brown for $200 a week. He was okay. in the JBs. And James Brown said, I'll give you about 250 <laughs> <laughs> And he said, back then, it was right here. He's sitting right where you're sitting. He goes, back then, man, $250 a week. That was like a million bucks. And then he got like this faraway look in his eye and he goes, it was a million bucks. Yeah. 
So but that, not in 2009, 100 grand was not a million bucks. You, you <laughs> ingrate, you sold ice cream out of a truck. You know how many men? No, it, it, <laughs> look at the guy at the park with an ice cream yeah. truck that it's made true. like, can I get a SpongeBob? Yeah. It's and he's true. like, that's $2. A Choco and he goes, Taco. Yeah. Choco Taco. That would be Sounds, sounds, sounds hot actually. to you. Yeah. We did do a not SpongeBob ice cream not actually. Not to me. <laughs> For Ashley okay. Simpson's well, actually, kid party. I hold think on it's one a... second. We have an Ash- I'm sorry, no. for you. we have an Ashley Simpson's kid party. Oh event. yeah, what yes. happened? We did a um, SpongeBob ice cream. It was SpongeBob theme. His one one year old birthday, so it was a pineapple under the sea ice cream flavored ice cream. Little you... toasted yellow sponge cake and candied pineapple and pineapple. Which ice is cream. a little morbid because you're yeah. eating SpongeBob. You're eating but Bob. that's cool. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know if her kid remembers that he was one. I could, no, they, could no him. kids remember. Maybe we could tw- we and I do a bit in my him. act. Don't take your kids anywhere <laughs> until they're like 15 because they don't remember it. Right. Like, my kids have been to Hawaii four times. They didn't even know it's surrounded by water. <laughs> my Uncle Dan drove a truck, Circus Man Ice Cream. Do you guys think you can give him a run for his money? Yeah. Uncle Dan's a big... Yeah, uh, well, I think so. I'm just letting you know. Uncle Dan's <laughs> no, a bit of a star No, I did have an ice cream man here. stop us. Remember, he was like, what are you doing with these $5 ice cream sandwiches? You could be making $70 a day if you, if you copy my models. Like, What was his model? He had like the nasty drumstick, you know, just garbage ice cream that he was selling for 99 cents. But he said, how could I compete with him? His are 99 cents. Ours are $5. Well, you get what you pay for. Is very the and very different crowds. Exactly. He's got like kids with dirty yeah. hands, and you got <laughs> Ashley Simpson lip syncing her way up to the back of the truck. <laughs> Pretty much. Hello, 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 B E. Okay, I want to do it again. That was incredible. I'm not gay, but I am on the waiting list. We've discussed this before. <laughs> you guys got married in New York. In the green room. And uh, we, Greg Proops talked about this on his podcast, Smartest Man in the World podcast, which is one of my mm. favorites. He said, people don't realize like some states are two states. Like California, you go like, why, why does gay marriage get like shot down in California? It's because we all live in LA and we all live in Hollywood and we're all in show business. And you guys, even though it's ice cream, it's show business. We're all in the same big yeah. thing. And then you drive like an hour east, an hour north or an hour south. And it's like, whoa, easy the there, fag. <laughs> Where you think you're going, buddy? <laughs> we don't do that up here at Hammett. Yeah. Uh, no, it's different worlds. New York, New York City, entirely democratic. Manhattan, the five boroughs, mm-hmm. respect. Max Paul's boutique, you know the deal. And then you drive like an hour north, and it's fucking farms. It's two completely different oh, states. For sure, absolutely. So I think now you can get married in California. You can, you? yes. I think we also we were, you know, trying to pioneer. We were early in the movement, and what often happens is the expression like pioneers get the arrows in their back because all the litigation went through California and took forever to overturn. Uh, but now, when we when we first uh, when it first became legal, we thought, oh no, do we have to go get married again in the state of California? You know, and then we're kind of feeling lazy, like, oh, it's going to be a pain. But then it turns out you can't have a marriage license in two states. It's like having a driver's license in two so states. You're, so a state license in New York is good across the country in whatever state yes, it's legal that, in. Yes, yes. I'm just like, as I say the words, <laughs> like I was just saying out loud in whatever state it's legal in. And we're talking about fucking love and marriage. Yeah. And I, I, mean, didn't, know, I didn't know we were going to take this turn, but... <laughs> I think it's almost the majority of the 50 states, right? Well, the majority of the population, for sure. Okay. And maybe the majority of the states now, yeah. too. But 75% of the population lives in states where it's legal. It's something like that. So All right. It's getting there. It's moving along. It's on the docket, I but think. But that electoral yeah. college, it's, well, that's not how that vote works. I <laughs> screwed up my votings. <laughs> but, like, those prop votes. Like, yeah. at, here's the thing, though. Like, I live in a state of California. And prop, I believe it was Prop 8. Right. And I go out to Palisades High School and I vote uh, with yes or no, whatever it was, pro gay right. marriage. Yeah, no. On and eight. then the results come back. No on it. Yeah, no okay. hate. That's so, the easy so way. So I remember. voted no. Right. And then, like, the next day, it's like 82% yeah. of the state of California votes. Fuck that. And you're yeah. like, Jesus. I really live in a tiny bubble right. of like That's West Side. Crazy. Like, sh- like I definitely remember live that? in Hollywood. I, I don't remember that it Lost was like by a landslide. 80%. That's oh, it crazy. Wasn't, it wasn't even close. Cl- not yeah. even wow. close to being close to being close to being wow. close. It was like West Hollywood. San, like San, half of the San Fernando Valley is like, no, oh, fuck that, yeah. man. It's yeah. different times. And I can't figure it out. Yeah. And I can't get someone to give me a, a, an argument as to why gay people shouldn't be married. And I tell them, give me an argument why gay people shouldn't be married, but you're not allowed to mention the Bible. Right. <laughs> and they're like, well, eh, ah, eh. Like, even my dad. 
Right. It's like some shit about property taxes going to fuck. I'm like, well, then how come regular marriage doesn't fuck uh, up right. property taxes? Right. Oh, yeah. So you're now married in no matter where you go. Yeah. yeah well, if we were to, for example, if we want to, you know, have kids, which we do, and, you know, one, whatever, however we do it, won't, wouldn't be related to me. Let's say Freya has one. If it's, you know, she uses a donor, I have to adopt the kid because if we go into a state that doesn't recognize our marriage, they may not see me as a guardian, right? So you, just to be safe, or, another, or if you're in another country, I would still have to adopt her kid no matter what, and even though we're married. I think that's okay. And vice versa. That's, yeah. that's fine. Because yeah. it's still you're going to be your kid regardless. Yeah, but to have to go through that, you know, when we're clearly both the parents. Well, of course, yeah. But, yeah. but the thing but also it's just complicated is my point. Of course, yeah. it's complicated. Yeah. But here's the thing: like you're a gay couple, you're you're, you're lesbians, you're two gals. <laughs> One of you has to, you guys have to have like pillow talk. <laughs> Who's going to carry the fucking baby? Well, I'm a year and a half older, so my eggs are shriveling as we sit here. <laughs> so I'm I'm first. I'm 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 a bat first. Oh, you want to carry the baby? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm oh, I thought you were back. I thought you were backing out. You oh, were like, no, I don't no, want to ruin no, my body. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have the first one, and then Tosh is gonna have one. Yeah. Also, and then we'll we'll adopt yeah, another one. Sort of know? thinking. And we have I the two dogs. I think that's fantastic. So that's family. Yeah, five kids. my wife wrote and uh, seventy employees. That's kids too. How many? Seventy. Okay, that right there is the number <laughs> that lets me know how successful this whole thing is. <laughs> you have seventy employees. We do. Like there is construction going on all through Santa Monica and the Palisades. Not one of these contractors has seventy employees. <laughs> and you know what? There's a goddamn lunch truck that shows up to feed forty of those guys. That you know, you are more than them. That's true. You are the American dream, and that's why I'm so excited about this, and I think this is something to be celebrated, and people need to... Look, you don't need any of my listeners, in all, in all sincerity. <laughs> if none of my listeners buy a single uh, ice cream yeah. or a single Jello shot from LudlowCocktails.com, won't <laughs> affect you a eyelash, nothing. Won't even, not even a dip, nothing. I mean, you know, we got to keep growing. I know, but if the they do, base. it'll be a nice little bump. But if they don't, it's not like, you know, you still got the three grand from Coachella <laughs> we, under the mattress. Yeah, we sold about $2 million, uh, uh, oh units last year. God. So we're you doing sold $2 million. Yeah. $2 million units yeah. at $5 a pot. Oh, well, my God. Like that, so, yeah. Wait, you sold $2 million. What's a unit? $2 million items. So whether that's a sandwich or a bar or a scoop. So let's say it's like, uh, you said $7, you said $7 earlier. Uh, well, the sandwiches are five, but we sell them for wholesale, which I about half that. So it's, you know, it's a $6 million business, let's say. So you and your wife split $6 million after you pay the employees. Well, there's which a lot you of probably other. pay them very little <laughs> because you worked at Disney and you know, the, the gig. Well, it's, it's business is tough. You know, that's our, our revenue is six, but you got rent, you got taxes, you got cost of goods. You got oh, a lot right. of things. So you, if you end up ice- with something at sweetheart. the end. You're lucky. You sell ice cream out of a fucking truck. <laughs> Stores now. I know, foods, I know. Galsons. I know that yeah. of course, but I like, you like, you know, it's not as cool as you think it is. I'm like, you sell ice cream out of a truck. What are you talking about? <laughs> and <laughs> she's been arrested for selling ice cream. Natasha in case the truck. has been arrested. True. You we have a have record. Right of sinks in the uh, in the How truck. How are you not in a band with that name in this outfit? <laughs> you know, I well, I maybe I must. I was in the jazz band in high school. I played saxophone. Saxophone's yeah. very good. Who's Alto your do sax. You have, Alto uh, Cannibal Adderley. Uh, Coltrane did. Coltrane's good. Yeah. yeah, Coltrane's very good. Both of them are on kind of blue. Yeah, uh, Miles that's right. Davis. That's right. And no matter how hard I try, I can't tell uh, when which one's playing. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell the two saxophones apart. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's that bananas an album. Yeah. Um, were you ever in a band? Freya Estrella? I played the accordion. Oh my God. Because a I was Filipino <laughs> Chinese woman holding an accordion. Yes. It's like a with, Bill Brooks movie. With glasses <laughs> and braces. And a bowl I cut. was the female Asian oh. Steve Urkel. Adorable. Like, oh. Yeah, I was like 10. I don't know why she was my super parents. Super popular. Fairfax High? Uh, no. Ho- Holy Trinity in Atwater Village. Oh my yeah. God. When you got out of there, it was all whole hell breaking <laughs> loose, right? <laughs> well, then I got contacts after, you know, and there was a whole new world. Yeah. yeah. And then you went away to camp and discovered there's a whole world out there. Time for you to get LASIK now. LASIK. That's not going to be my birthday gift to her. She's birthday in a week. This is like millionaire talk. Hey, you know, your birthday's coming up. I'm thinking about getting you that LASIK. 
Most couples are like, hey, your birthday's coming up. How about we go get a nice meal? <laughs> You're like, hey, I'm going to get you surgery for your birthday. Yeah, but maybe Jay, a little you don't something extra for, uh, for me A little something side. for you, a little yeah. on the forehead. <laughs> what if she sees better and she goes, mm, no, well, that's impossible because your love is a bond not, that can't yeah. be broken. But, yeah. but Asians, you know, we really, we don't get those wrinkles where, you know, some white girls. Oh, you're saying a little, little Botox for <laughs> Natasha Case? It's a little side dish. I, why well, I, I my birthday's in August, so maybe we'll have. To would you get then. Botox? I would think about it. I heard preventative is good. You know, like baby Botox. Exactly. That's, I'll yeah, get that. The, the BB in a yeah, moment. That's right. With this forehead, <laughs> a lot of scowling, play, make believe acting. All the roles I didn't get. That's what's on my forehead. <laughs> all the roles I didn't get are all these lines <laughs> on my face. I'm me rehearsing and trying to get the role for the audition. Like really, <laughs> uh, I would do that in a second, and I'm gonna get hair plugs too. Nice. Oh, nice. And when nice. I get hair plugs, I'm going to like tweet the entire thing. <laughs> so nobody can go like, looks like you got fucking hair plugs. I'll be like, document it. Like, call it out. Owning it. Like, yeah, dick. Look owning at my it. fucking head. It looks owning like it. I got a big Maybe stupid a pony. flesh yarmulke in the back. <laughs> but I don't care about the back. That just means I'm a grown yeah, up. Right. <laughs> it's when the front starts creeping back and I look like Peyton Manning or the monster from Bugs Bunny. I mean, that's what's happening to Jude Law. He is, but he's, yes, but first of all, you pick like maybe the single hottest guy on God's green earth uh, that's regular sized. Okay. That's not like big giant, yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah, fat yeah. Alec Baldwin Yeah, is hotter than skinny Alec Baldwin. Yeah. There's, yeah, a yeah, whole, there's a whole scale the, here. The I'm talking suits, to two lesbians about hot suits. guys. You know, it's easier yeah, for Jude us to Law's yeah. pretty. That's a good point. So Jude Law, as far as guys that are like 5'9", 155 yeah. pounds, Harry, nice that's, chest. that's the guy. Ryan yeah. Gosling, kind of a small guy, but he can get big. Yes. Uh, but Jude Law is going ball the perfect way, which is you want that island. You want the Florida Keys coming down the middle, okay. and you want like Nicholson going back on the sides. All right. Whereas my... That. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Whereas my forehead has always been super high my whole life. And then now, like, if you look at the top of my head in the front, you can actually see my scalp because I have blonde hair. Oh, yeah, and I'm losing it. You need <laughs> to put sunscreen. <clears throat> Maybe use some more salmon. <laughs> Salmon's good for that. The omegas make the hair grow. Like, she wants to sell Cosmopolitans <laughs> out of a can. You're telling me to rub salmon on my head? <laughs> Not to rub the salmon on your head. No wonder you're millionaires. <laughs> you think outside the box. And box means something entirely yeah, different in your world. Kids for men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, first of all, I'm thrilled that you're married, and that kind of uh, I'm glad we had that little thing about two states in in each state. There's like two states, not yeah. all states. Some states are just down. Like it's Massachusetts true, is Massachusetts. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Florida is Florida. Florida's a mess, Florida, and I'm not yeah, going Florida. back. Texas. Is, a lot of states are. One thing, and then there's like a dot of something else. There's like Texas, Kentucky is like that. Austin. Louisville, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Louisville and is very progressive. Te Kentucky is a little different. Oh, remember we were talking about California? Yes. And when you go no north, it's yes. real Republican. But if you go all the way to San oh, Francisco, March twelfth, you can ridiculous. see me at Cobb's Comedy Club. Oh, oh, hey, March twelfth, Cobb's Comedy That's Club. A great day. All my stand-up dates are at jmore.com. And buy stuff using the Amazon banner and email me, and we'll uh, read it on the show. I want people to tweet me. Uh, you pictures of you guys eating uh, cool house eat cool house eat cool house h a u s dot com or if you're at a party do yourself a favor just get a shit ton of Ludlow cocktails these Jello shots because you think Jello shots you think of like some skanky girl like I'm really a model and she's like walking around the bar and there's like a test tube of Jello and yeah dubious like or if you ran up reposition or a shirtless gay guy at a gay bar for I, some reason I, gay guys <clears throat> love Jello yeah it's a big thing Look, that's a big just thing. because I geriatric them, homes <clears throat> ger yeah so I'm but this you. is it really looks like. Uh, like when you buy applesauce. Yeah, yeah but smaller. And like also, one, you know. Like the Moscow Mule Moscow that I'm holding Mule. right now. That so sounds you can like. Lie about that. These all sound like Just porno. Say it's your applesauce. These all sound like pornos. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, what the hell is a Moscow Mule? These are craft My name cocktails. Natasha. We know about that. Explain. Ex explain Natasha like, Jenny. Okay, like the Moscow Mule. You say craft cocktail? And yeah. I know, like, it's branding and stuff like that. But, like, we're just hanging out in a garage. Like, That's why how we talk you, all day. But why don't you just say to me, like, I made jello shots that taste good and you can get hammered on them. Like, what's this craft? Like, what'd you say? Uh, cr it's a craft cocktail and a jello shot. What the fuck are you Not talking your about? Not jello shot. 
That, Not your I, collegiate jello shot. All right. Yeah, we broke the mold. The jello I'm shot just giving the you all the taglines. But you know? what is a Moscow mule? It sounds like a, a cock on a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that super oh boy. <laughs> popular <laughs> trending <laughs> drink in the copper mug. That's vodka, ginger, uh, ginger lime. beer, lime juice, and sometimes a little mint. Oh, this is like a, a hot drink that's happening now. It's a it's hot, like a trendy, trending. It's like maybe Where the most been? trending drink. Uh, not in bars. <laughs> yeah, I got true. my fill. If, I'll drink these if you have bail money. <laughs> and then we have Planter's Punch. Which, yeah, uh, dark rum, uh, the tropical one, coconut, pineapple, lime, cherry. This is nuts. Yeah. And it really looks like if you bought like applesauce and just shrunk it a little bit, fresh lime margarita yeah. speaks for a little, itself. Like, pudding almost. Or, you know, and like this is the manly the one. Oh my God. And old, yeah. like this is an old fashioned, old fashioned. This old fashioned has real two year barrel aged straight Indiana bourbon whiskey, bitters, orange, and cherry. Now, how does a half Filipino, half Chinese girl go to a place and go, hey, do you have a uh, bourbon that I could buy? By do you, you don't go? Do you go to uh, Target and get it in bulk? I'm just a really good no, Chinese business woman. Where you know? do you go? Straight do you make from the it at distillery. home? No, huh? you go straight from the distillery. Yeah, straight from the distillery. Where's the in, distillery? Come in, on. No, I, I work with a co-packer distillery in Michigan. Nobody knows what that means, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to bring you guys back to. <laughs> it's made in Indiana. People, like mail from the mail, Mailmen are there listening to this, yeah, going, yeah. "Fuck this." I'm being serious. No, no. Speak English. No, totally. You take for granted the term. The terminology. Yeah, like if I had a rock, yeah. if I had Neil deGrasse Tyson in here, I'd be like, whoa, easy, bro. Slide it down a little bit. Yeah. Where do you get the booze to put old fashioned bourbon in an old fashioned jello shot? Yeah. Where do you go, Freya? What's the first phone? What's the first phone call? So the first phone call is to find a manufacturer that will make this product for me and source everything By for me. By product, you mean the entire jello the shot? The entire line, yeah. That is, so you don't even have to, you're like a goddamn mob boss. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to, you know, I didn't have a million the bucks Moog. to start She's my own Moog. distillery. I raised, I raised like 370K from friends and family. To start you this. really leaned on your friends and family a lot. <laughs> like, have you paid these people back? Or are you something? on the lamb? Yeah, my Is mom that... has a little equity in a cool house. <clears throat> my my parents, Freya's pay... aunt. Okay, equity is one thing, but yeah. if you actually paid them back the money, because I noticed you're both wearing like spy hats. <laughs> <laughs> You're both wearing very like we, hats like oh, well, we're that's gonna, the thing. <laughs> Ten o'clock. Serrano's got the discs. Serrano's got the discs. LAX, let's go. Um yeah, the PS looks pe- super spy, right? Have you paid the people? Well, back? you don't when when someone has equity, it's not about, you know, issuing dividends usually. It's about they're in it for the long haul. So Okay, I'm your friends mom. Friends and family. I have equity, right? Yes. You know, I've been thinking, but they <laughs> She doesn't want to take it out. I offered. She says, I'm in it until all, you go all the way, until you're the next Ben and Jerry's. Not I interested. want my equity. Yeah. Your father and I have always loved Florida. <laughs> I've, I said, Mom. No, no, no. This could what do you it. say to her? I, no, I, I offered just cut that. Her t- no, no, no. But what if your yes, mom she could, wants her? We would have to be her, in a cash okay, position to say, buy her out. Let's of say the equity. I have equity yes, yes. in Eat Cool House, H A U S dot com. I don't know what or I was Ludlow, thinking. Or uh, Ludlow dot com. Let's say I have equity in right. it. I put some money in up top. Yeah. And now I'm going, wow, you, they, I listened to the More Stories podcast. I know how much they're making. I want my equity back. Like, what do you, How do you figure out what I put in, what it's worth, and how do you figure out what check to cut me? It's, well, you have, to, you have to come up with a valuation, which is you know some usually multiple of your gross, which is all the money you're making, or a multiple of what's called your EBITDA, which is like your profit. You made that up, that word. I did not. EBITDA? EBITDA. Earnings Wait. before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Yes. She goes EBITDA, which means your profit. She could have just said your profit. <laughs> it's Well, it's, it's a little bit more specific. The right. acronym that Freya it's just you know spat you out. You she's a rapper, every, so she give, spat it out. I like that. Yeah. Hip-hop. Freestyle. That's why I said Paul's Boutique earlier. <laughs> there we go. Here's what you do. You give everybody the exact money they gave you when they invested. Right. And then you just cut them a check for $1,000 and be like, that's for you, man. <laughs> you, you, got, you did it. You hung in there. I mean, thousand that bucks, would be better man. than the hey, stock ma. market for the most part. Hey, ma, $1,000 on the um, <laughs> put it in behind the furnace. <laughs> <laughs> Put in a plastic bag in the toilet tank. Don't even tell dad I gave you the thousand. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's, uh, it's well, and then what usually happens is a big financial event has to happen for them usually to be bought out. So they would then maybe cash what out. What does that mean? So like, for example, if uh, a, a, a banking, you know, a banker or a strategic partner, like let's say a General Mills or a Unilever. They want to buy you. That's when normally they would probably cash out the money because Unilever would probably want to redistribute the equity and the way the company, you know, is. is. So General Mills wants to buy LudlowCocktails.com or EatCoolHouse.com. Mm -hmm. You with all, how many people have equity in the company? I think 40. there's like, there's 10 about uh, different oh, interests. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. So those 10 people, you have to decide, do we want to bring these 10 people and their equity with us to General Mills? I don't know. If, if we can even decide, it may not be up to us at that General point. General Mills goes, leave, the old, leave your old lady behind. We don't need her. And then, and you then gotta... they'll just buy buy them out. Yeah. At that point, it'd probably be worth it for them to just go down to, you know, So for Sandy example, if... what, hold on. But what <laughs> yeah. if your mom goes down swinging? <laughs> Fuck General it's Mills. possible, knowing her. I'm in it for the long <laughs> haul. Mean, yeah. I don't know why I made this stupid voice for <laughs> no, your mom. No, that's, uh, you know. Is that no, what she's she a very me? zen like con Like she can get anyone to do anything on the phone. Like, she says this. She has the phone company Fuck on the line. General Mills. Yeah, yeah. Very, very much. Tosh, I don't know. It's I think a journey I'm in, with I'm million footsteps. For, yeah. And I took the first one a long <laughs> time ago. It's kind of something like that. Uh, I can't <laughs> believe you have bourbon in Jello, which looks like like you like a kid would just take this. Like you got to be careful. With, I'm guessing you got to be really careful oh, with these because yeah. it just looks like something my son would just rip open and chug on a hot day. Yeah, all you know, <laughs> everything on there says you know alcohol, not for children. Ludlow's old fashioned. <laughs> what if you can't read, Frey? You're in trouble. He's three. Yes. He's three years old. 15% well, by volume. Uh, what about take, a SpongeBob he's flavored take one? An awesome nap. Yeah. SpongeBob flavored yeah. old fashion. Might be you might be thanking me. <laughs> right. Exactly. That could be. Yeah, you could top Benadryl is to knock him out. He's yeah. annoying yeah. the uh, <laughs> truck. So, Corey, you will take home all these shots. <laughs> I'll let you know. Yeah, you'll let us know. And anybody listening, I need we need these because <laughs> I defy All right, here's the challenge. Take one of these shots from Ludlow Cocktails, these jello shots. Get an old fashioned. Be a man or a woman. Just put your name on it. Get Planters Punch, uh, the margarita. That's, you know what? Margarita's too easy. But you had to do it. I understand. I understand you have to do it. It's the most and popular. And the Meyer Lemon I, 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 yeah. I, Believe me, yeah. I'm with you. I want some dude out there to get a Moscow mule and put that donkey dick. It, sound, it really does sound like something horrible. <laughs> I see that. I'm from Sherman Oaks. It's the it's the capital of porn, I think. So hey, we know about that. Hey, they tell you about the Moscow Mule that time. Uh, <laughs> I want on Van Nuys Boulevard. Somebody to take a Moscow, any flavor of any of these Jello shots, and I want you holding it up, and I want you to rip it, and I want you to just chug it, and then just snap a selfie right away uh. and tweet me at jmore37, and I'll retweet it. I defy you to make an unhappy face, and look at the way it's amazing. Everybody on the website's like, ah. it's like you just, it's like whippets. <laughs> like nobody does a whippet and goes, boo. Yeah. You just hear the helicopter blades right. above your head and you sit down. I wouldn't know. You never done a whippet? No. What They're if I go? The ones that look like whipped cream, right? You can take your whipped cream can <laughs> okay. and just t well, don't shake it. We have those at the cool house. I could shop. give you one right now. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. I think you drink booze. <laughs> It's it's less than like if you had a drink. Yeah, I need every brain cell cream, though to conquer the universe. You have plenty. You're already <laughs> on your way to General Mills. <laughs> what if somebody weird buys you, like okay. IKEA? Oh, like, that could be interesting. Because you're an architecture yeah, person, and, it's about and that the design like, thing, mm, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That or could Buick. be. Like, what about like a, a tech company? What about Google? Maybe they want to have a. What about know? Bing? Yeah. Bing is faster than Google, I realized this week. <laughs> I actually tried Bing. Or Amazon. Have you tried Bing? Not for a while, but, but it's when, faster. It, it's like, Those commercials are right. Wow. I tried it and I went, whoa. <laughs> like usually I'm, it takes a little while to Google. And Bing, I was, I'm not doing a commercial. For, you know what? You guys want to advertise? Fuck that. Yeah. Huh? How about mail? You know yeah. what's great? Mail, the, uh, mail chimp. He, mail crimp. What is it called? <laughs> Do you listen to a uh, serial podcast? No. The I only listen to mystery. my own. Yeah. Because I'm a narcissist. <laughs> I failed the psychopath no test. Um, a whip it. If I got like yeah. a, my can of whipped cream out of my fridge. Right. Don't shake it. Mm -hmm. Take that red thing okay. that sticks up and just tilt it. <laughs> and you just take that air and hold it into your lungs. <laughs> and you, there's going to be a whole new world for you. All right. Okay. You won't do it? Mm, yeah. No, I don't think so. All right. 
<laughs> what are you trying to like take advantage? If I could just yeah, get no, her no. to get a whip it, <laughs> get her knocked out next to the elliptical, then I take over Cool House. What happens? If what? Who is next in line? Let's say, God forbid, you guys get like kidnapped by Syrian terrorists or something. Okay. That's okay. a real bizarre fucking yeah, I mean, scenario. You know, everyone needs their ice cream. Who takes over the company? Truman and Hamilton. Our dogs. Yeah. Uh, no, we have partners. We have also, amazing yeah, partners. Yeah, we've got we've got some partners. I, I gotta around. tell you, I really like the idea of dogs running an ice cream company. They know Jello. about Hamilton, the mini Schnauzer, and Tru- Truman the Chewini. Yeah. Hamilton and Truman. They're What's really the, smart. Oh, the wiener dog. Yeah. Chihuini. Ch- yeah. Chihuahua wiener dog. And He's you go up to a truck. You know how much more wealth? You guys should fake your deaths. <laughs> go, to, go out of Long Beach on a boat. Overdose on whippets. Go out. You can't. You can't. Because <laughs> you'll. Pa- you, you, I've tried. You pa- You pass out before. Uh, you, you pass out before your body okay. lets okay. you take it over got the line. It, got it. You wait. You wind up waking up on whippets. Uh, <gasps> Go leave Long Beach okay. on a ship, okay, and just yeah, don't yeah. come back, and then just have somebody in like I'll do it or Corey will do it, and like just be movie. like, man, I can't believe that inherent the, vice, like the that. ship uh, yeah. sank, you know, right, or whatever the monkey business, it sank, right. And then I want to see Coachella. I want to see two dogs running a truck, and I'll help them. I think it could be pretty good. Well, you got two of your own. They look like they're ready to work. Those idiots would eat all the profits. <laughs> Well, just they like our real, just like our employees, you know. Haha, uh, uh, are we kidding? No, Maybe. I will say this because you you did say before uh, we were on mic, we were speaking uh, while we were getting all the mics hot because we never did three mics, but four mics before because Corey's over there. You guys were telling me, I will say this in full disclosure, if your employees are listening, you pulled me. Well, you didn't pull me aside. We were standing there. You said we have the best employees. We're so lucky. Like you really made over them. So, <laughs> it's true. They no, I mean, I will. It's all about culture because anyone, you know, you got to have buy in beyond just scooping the ice cream sandwich. Otherwise, you have nothing at stake. And I think what we've done at Cool House is it's about more than just, you know, making the scoop between the two cookies. It's like they're on the vision quest with us to go all the way. That's how you prevent theft. That's how you prevent people from just quitting all the time. Uh, it really has to be, you know, you have to have that culture and that fun and that connection. And we have, um, we, we have amazing, amazing people at Cool House, people who've worked for us for four years. One guy, Michael Allen has been doing truck events for four years. It's a long time in the ice cream biz. If I met you four years ago, I would have had equity in this. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> now I have no money and you don't need me. That's true. It's the perfect non-marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Creeps. Uh, so you guys are going to... Why don't you guys do April Foolishness, Kevin and Bean? Oh. Well, we did go on their show uh, to give away tickets to our five-year party. And we, um, I think we did a vanilla bean sandwich for them or something. Oh, you know what it is? The permits at the Gibson Amphitheater are probably impossible. Oh, That's yes. probably the biggest thing with trucks is you got... Like, I'm like... My wife has this thing. She's like, nobody has like... There's no donut truck. Nobody right. has donuts in LA. Yeah. Well, and it's girl. like, you think about... Oh my gosh, like that's a good idea. And you go, where am I going to park this truck? Yeah. Somebody's going to go, move it along, buddy. Yeah. The truck business is really hard. You know, they're not, it's hard to scale them. Each truck is different. They break down a lot. It's hard to keep track. Scale, meaning like. Speaking codes. It's like a radio head. The EBITDA code. You know, for example, the pre packaged line that we're talking about, we're in 3,000 grocery stores with that. We're launching at Ralph's and Vons this year, but we're in Gelson, Whole Foods, Bristol Farms. Those are scalable. You make them all in one place. You. Like you said, you put them in a pallet, like, you know, 2,000 on a pallet, put them in a truck, send them to a warehouse, stock That's what them in the grocery store. Means. That's scalable. Because, I'm making 2,000. I'm yeah. going to hand you 2,000. Yeah. And then you can do with the 2,000 you want and then give me money when you're done selling 2,000. Based, something so, like that. Am I close? Yes. No, exactly. So what do you mean it's hard to scale a truck? With the trucks, it's like you couldn't have uh, 2,000 of them. In all these different cities, because every city has their own code for where trucks can park. The trucks are custom-built vehicles. It's not like you can go to a dealership and get the same truck so that when there's a problem, you can take it in and say, you know, this the flywheel fell off. What do I do? It's like each one has its own quirks, and they're very difficult to manage. And it's just it, – it's a tough business to navigate. Um, like you said, there's a lot of places you can't park. There's a lot of fees. There's tickets. It's, we get into wars with Mr. Yeah. Softy in New York. And probably other trucks. Like like I got a Belgian waffle truck yeah. and you guys are killing me. Yeah. 
I mean, there's the old the 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 slow the throat slitting of the um you know the kebab carts in New York. They'll just they'll they'll make that and make I'm gonna kill you. (laughs) We had someone throw a cigarette at one of our employees, but you just kind of laugh it off. It's all talk. No one does anything really. How do you know, like in Austin, Texas, that the guy in charge of the truck isn't just getting high and eating ice cream? Well, like we were talking about before, culture they have to be you know part of the dream with you so that they're on board. Otherwise, you're right. What's to stop them from stealing five dollars every every day? They could if they didn't believe in it because they would have nothing to lose. I mean, completely honest. Or they could believe in it and still take five dollars. That's what I was I would completely (laughs) believe in it and go, I'm going to take five (laughs) dollars. They're not it's hard to do dollars. in a, in a cash in business. I'm in Austin. Yeah. I'm out here busting my ass. But another reason why to move away from the trucks and to move to the distribution to grocery stores, there's no, no one's touching the money the whole way. Right. So but how that do you, also helps. But how you have how many trucks? Uh, we have country? 10 of our own. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And not how many outside of Los Angeles? Uh, two in Austin, two in Dallas and two in New York. Like, how do you hire like guys to sell ice cream in New York? Like, you had to fly out there and interview the people you personally. You set it up. I have a general manager there, just like you would if you know you had a brick and mortar in another city. You create a, an operation that can self sustain. I don't know what that means. Uh, like a restaurant, you know, a brick and mortar. Brick and mortar was. was Why didn't well, you just say restaurant? We, you know, we like our fancy terminology. What's this with her? B and M. What are the you, B&M. a silent partner? The She's the CEO. So if there's a truck in New York, two trucks in New York, right? Freya, yeah. Freya Estrella, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am. So who? You go. Okay, we got two trucks in New York. You got to go. How, for, do you go to New York to find the trucks? Yeah, we we found two trucks um, on the East Coast. We sent it to um, Ernie at Shanghai Steel, who My does man. all shout out secret. to Ernie. Yeah. What's up, yeah. Ernie? Who does all the food trucks in yeah. New York? Uh, we got our you know our permit from. But did you um, personally go? Did you get oh, on an yeah. airplane? We set up the operation ourselves. You really yeah. did. Yes. Okay, that's but what I was asking. You don't asking. have to go out every time. You need to hire new people for the operation because we we have general managers in each city that more or less run the operation and then you but have that's manuals. what I'm saying is you don't know if you need a general manager until you get the truck up and running and realize whether or not it's that's going to true. work that's a or really good point get the minimum man- viable product we call that or again these words <laughs> or do you get a general manager in a city and just make the leap of faith it, it has to work because we're doing it you should be there to set it up with them when it's starting and, and you know we it, it is sort of a leap of faith like you budget yeah. it out you make you do your projections you plan to lose a, a little bit of money in the beginning like we did in miami right we had trucks two trucks there <laughs> I yeah, I, exactly. I feel the same way. Thank you. You just sell fucking hairspray and out of a truck. You make more money. Way. And disgusting, we, filthy, sweaty, humidity animal animals. We, we had yeah. to shut it down. I sound like I drank these. Yeah, <laughs> just holding them made me weird. <laughs> no, we had to shut down our trucks in Miami yeah, after you have six to fail months. Fast. People rampant employee theft. Um, <laughs> coke. It's all coke. <laughs> it's, all it's all coke, right? Yeah, it was and like, it was, and, yeah and the cops did not care. Yeah. People it's, think that in warm climates, more ice cream is consumed. It's not necessarily true because in warm climates, people are more body conscious. So Boston is the highest consumption of ice cream per capita. Because the they're country. all fat pigs. Who cares, just right? Trying to call it comfort food. Comfort food. Yeah. Uh, they're not fat pigs in Boston. I'm kidding, of course. Yeah, we're kidding. Uh-huh. Uh, here <laughs> in Miami, a lot of coke. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, you know I don't play the Miami. A lot of comedy. face there's eating. A, there's a club. What's that mean? What was that again? The the guy face. who was on. Oh, the, the zombie uh, bath yeah. salt guy. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need a bath salt zombie eating other people. Every come back. crazy <laughs> Huffington Post article All is Florida. from Florida. And so it, true. Yeah. I grew up there. <laughs> Florida. He, I, there's a there was an improv in Miami, and I was doing a show there, and I was like bombing, and like when you've been doing it like tw- well now th- almost thirty years. It's like really rare, like on a Saturday, you're going, wow, what the, f- this isn't fucking going, this is weird. Right. Like, it's like, a, it's like when you get a flat tire in your car, like, yeah. whoa, yeah. it's like that kind of feeling, like, this never happens. And then I go to the bathroom between shows and everyone's just doing rails of coke. Oh my yeah. goodness. And then I go up and I go, oh, they all got their freeze going. Okay, I yeah. get it. And they're all just looking around like, when can I go? When can I go? So I go, I'm not going to play that club anymore. And then the manager of the club called me and said, uh, when are you coming back? I said, I'm not. And he said, no, I, why not? I said, well, everybody's doing coke in the club. It's the sky. He goes, we actually took care of that. And I go, how? He goes, we put ceiling fans in the bathroom. <laughs> 
That's amazing. So it that just was, goes through their pores then. Like, that was a salute. Like you put coke out and it just blows all over the goddamn bathroom. Forget the table, the car, the drive over, at home, smoking it in the parking and, and lot. And it now is more ventilated. Yeah. Just kill two birds with now one stone. Now you can walk into the like, bathroom yeah. with your mouth open and get coke thrown into your right, uvula. Exactly. Uvula is a little thing that hangs in the back of your throat. I knew that. You got fancy words. I got See, fancy words. It's the EBITDA back there in the throat. <clears throat> What's EBITDA? Is that profit? <laughs> it's uh, more or less. P-R-O-P-H-E-T. Your, your name, your, I'm really into the puns, and your last name is so great for the puns. I mean, more, more, more or less. stories, more yeah, or less. It's just endless. I would be on that all day, I think. It would be tough to not, you know, Amore. constantly. <laughs> when the moon hits my eye like a big pizza pie, that's Amore. Why don't you guys name an ice cream sandwich after me? That's, yeah. With more, Limited just edition. More cookies, like an extra cookie, mm, you know? It's kind of. Like a morsel? A morsel. Whoa. Tiny, a tiny. Yeah. But it's got to be salted caramel. Ooh. You handed me a pint of salted caramel, oh. and I just, I'm not joking, this summer discovered, never had it before in my life. I'm 40 years old, never discovered. Discovered it this summer <laughs> with my son flavor. at the frozen yogurt place. I had salted caramel for the first time. Wow, ever <laughs> mind altering. And my three-year-old son goes, "Okay, Daddy, I'm done." I'm like, "No, no, no, we're staying." And I went back <laughs> for more like we're a staying. Fat pig. I just ate like three. Like, oh my god, I it's couldn't addictive. stop. It's, it's the salty, good. it's the sweet, it's that butteriness. It's got on the Food Network. They always go sweet and savory. Yeah, that's and I true. always hate that. Why? Because savory is every fucking flavor other than sweet. Yeah, well, it's not. It's not black and white. It's not left or right. It's sweet, and then it's like salty. It's sour. Right, bitter. It's pungent. It's bitter. It's like the yeah. food industry as a whole just went. It's sweet and uh, fuck it, savory. <laughs> right. Right. Did you bring him our <clears throat> bacon ice cream sandwich? Well, that's it's sweet and savory. That's how did you not bring that? I don't. I failed. I failed. Shout out to Alexander Ali that put this together, and he <laughs> said you were going to bring me uh, goodies, and you forgot the bacon. I mean, bacon? You got two pints, three bars, bacon. Well, you know, come bacon to the shop. Ice cream? I'll hook it up. Come Where with your uh, your kiddo, Culver Angeles. City. And pa- Old Town Pasadena. But come co- to Culver City. It's our, it's come our on out HQ. to Old Town Pasadena. See a real right. life Filipino half Chinese girl. <laughs> real life. Here Sla- she is. Slang in the jelly shop. In real life. With a real uh-huh. job. With the ice cream. Married uh-huh. to a real Jewish lady. And Here we they have go. fried chicken and waffles ice cream too. What? And what, and you brought me salted caramel and what else? Well, and, uh, salted caramel, chocolate mold cake, uh, dirty mint, which, which has fresh mint leaves and brown sugar. It's really damn good. I Why do you. you dance so good? You know? Damn and chocolate good. chip Tahitian vanilla bean, because you got to do the classics well. <clears throat> Sometimes, oh, and the, and the bars I brought you are dipped in uh, pretzels. So again, yeah, the sweet and salty. Yeah. 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 Uh, I had a feeling. I had I'm a feeling. fired up about this. And I'm a, v- like every, there's, my wife will attest to this. There has not been a night that I've ever not woken up about an hour or two hours after I've fallen asleep yes. and just gone downstairs <laughs> and eat and like kind of like watch TV, but not. Wow. And I just keep going and going and my wife will go like, hon. And I'll be like, oh, wow, it's been an hour coming up. <laughs> uh, so like these things are going to last uh, two nights total. Awesome. And I'm then so glad to hear that. I'm going to need... Um, the bacon stuff. A hundred percent. We'll make that happen. But I got to go to the store I to think get it. You go. Well, you if you come to the a... store or we'll just send Alexander Ali out here with them. He, he offered to do that. Right. You put him in one of those cold bags. Drop him by the yeah. door. Don't ever ring my doorbell. I swear to God, I will kill you. I'll stab Wait, you right your in your armpit. You said never. Oh, well, ever. Uh, ring two, got it. Two dogs and a three year old. Oh my God. I'll cut you right <laughs> under your armpit. <laughs> Perfect. That's what you grab something. You cut him right under his armpit. <laughs> Oh, man. Nobody expects to get cut there, right? Nobody like goes, nobody like, if you come at them with a knife. <laughs> right. Natasha armpit. case. Nobody goes like, not <laughs> the armpits. The you know, they cover like their vitals right. and they cover like right. their privates and like their chest. The armpit's smart. And then you're like, it's already arm. kind of Or a, the Achilles. That's right. a good one. Ooh, or the calf. Ooh, get right ooh, under there. Yeah. Femoral artery. Mm. She's half cut Chinese. Them. She's like, I need oh, a jello shot. Them. She's like, here they are, honey. Which one do you need? How often do you uh, just open your fridge and drink your own product and go, I am amazing? You know what? Natasha actually eats the perfect, the, the best thing about these jello shots is that they last in the fridge. So, like, you can eat like a quarter of it at a time. Like, do one she, now. Chug it. Sure. I want the old fashioned. Here it I is. I want the little spoon. Because you we're never adults heard the song now. Natasha? 
No. No, I'm going to have to play it at the back that. end. I, we always put a song at the back end oh, of the podcast. Oh, awesome. But I don't want, there's, I don't want Freya one. to be like, where's my song? She doesn't need a song. You want me to hold your mic for you, honey? Sure. <laughs> if you had a dollar so, for every time you heard that. Right? <laughs> so, you know, A little spoon. For, I thought you just crushed the whole thing in no, your mouth like an animal. Because we're ladies. No, not people. You specifically. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Freya I'm Estrella is eating little... an old-fashioned... <laughs> that is the sound of mm. jello being slurped mm. up, and it's an old-fashioned. It. It's bourbon. I want some. Everybody's sharing, mm-hmm. and... Um, I I lost. I don't have um, uh, moderation. I lost the privilege. Mm. I could do it, but then I'd fight. Yeah. <laughs> I could totally have some, mm. but then we'd go out and fight someone. I mean, that'd be fun. You know, there's a neighbor then that we'll I have my eye on. We'll make it all better. There's still some left in yeah. there, Freya. Oh, by that. the way, I gotta crush yeah. that. Uh, how many ounces is that? Uh, it's about two ounces. It's like 50 ml. Just like a shot. A shot yeah, is that's two actually ounces. the smallest that you're allowed to have it. And it's 15% uh, alcohol. Should we alcohol, eat some ice cream? Do you guys good. want to eat some? 30 proof. Or do you want to uh, save it for your hour after bed? Uh, Corey, grab me any type of ice cream salt, you want, at all. You Give me a sandwich so they can hear the oh, thing salmon. going. Uh, it's crush. Eat cool. Well, oh, yeah, and you get to crush it when you're done. Eatcoolhouse.com. House is H A U S. And uh, give me an ice cream sandwich there, sweetheart. There you so go. So this is straight up classic Tahitian vanilla bean and chocolate double, chip and cookie chocolate and cookies. Tahitian. Oh, well, you know what? I'm really like vibing out, oh, yeah. trying to figure don't out what the. Uh, don't open those. Don't open. wasted. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the closing oh, song is going to be for you guys. Uh oh. I feel like you're at Coachella there. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice what's up. Good technique. Excellent. You like that? Excellent technique. I me. Uh. It's uh, not <laughs> easy. <laughs> what was that? The guy Fieri lean. That's right. Not a drop to, on see, me. It's supposed to like our truck. It has a little grill and headlights, and those are our chrome rims. We had star chrome rims on our first truck. That's very sweet. So, I got a lot of licking to do I before I get the, the bike. I myself. Sounds weird. <laughs> Sorry, very no, we, sexual. We mm. had them on the counter for a minute, uh, I think, before we put them away, so they might have got a little soft. Yeah. Well, it's an ice cream sandwich, and... Um, this might be the boringest segment in podcast history, uh, the sounds of me <laughs> eating an ice cream sandwich. The ice cream has melted a bit, so I've had to uh, take my tongue and violently <laughs> go in like a wagon wheel oh, circle with it. But uh, I've been complimented on the technique of eating the ice cream sandwich, I mean, and I will leave all uh, blue jokes aside <laughs> because that's not what we're about here at Moist Toys. <laughs> mm. Excellent technique. Oh my God, the cookie is amazing. It's all brown sugar. <laughs> That's going to be in the front. Then we're going to put that in the front of the podcast. We play sound drops in the front of nice, the podcast. Nice. <laughs> I got like Tom, Bar- I got a uh, Tom Barringer from platoon going, I'd like to hear about it. Potheads. I got Richard Pryor. I got nice. Um, uh, Betty Davis, but you are Blanche. You are in the oh chair. My God, that's amazing. Wow. And we're thinking of adding one. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God, the cooking is amazing. <laughs> uh, this is alarmingly great. And this is well, just straight you. up. Uh, th- no, Mies okay. Vanilla Row, after Mies van der Rohe, the architect. Chocolate chip are... cookie, Tahitian vanilla bean. Okay. Classic. It's, look, it's an ice Classic. cream sandwich with two chocolate chip cookies and Tahitian vanilla bean ice cream. But you are just holding on to this architecture <laughs> angle that nobody fucking cares about at all. It's true. You have not sold <laughs> one ice cream sandwich because there was a goddamn architecture. Name yeah, on except it. for when Frank, Frank Gary got it. Oh, yeah, that's one. All right, sure. Sometimes, and Tom Maine. We did Tom Mango for Tom Maine. All right, sometimes Guitar Center sends, sells a Les Paul to Les Paul. I right, right. You. See that? So, it, Mies Vanilla Row, R-O-H-E. Now, what architect is that? He is the father of the Bauhaus movement. I don't know what... Which was the uh, German, you know, kind of functionalist uh, lifestyle movement all about How is a uh, house modern a design. How is architecture a lifestyle movement? It's, oh, because it's all about, you know, the architecture expresses the lifestyle, exp- expresses the priorities of that zeitgeist, that moment. Natasha and her words. Talking about love, love is like dancing about architecture. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know. Um... <laughs> I have a plantation style house. Have you noticed? You know, you didn't really get a look when you came in from right, the front. Right, right. We drove by a little too quickly. <laughs> I heard you guys hit the curb on your way in. 
Yeah, what happened? I mean, female been, I guess Asian you driver. Dri- <laughs> that wouldn't be allowed on the this truck, the best, I, I'm not saying... This is the actual best ice cream sandwich I've ever had. Oh. Huzzah! It's an honor. This is crazy. <laughs> um, Thank you. I'm just assuming the Why listeners... Sells, you know? Right now, there's a guy in the subway in Manhattan with earbuds in going... I've been sitting here listening to Jay Moore eat an ice cream sandwich for 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, there could be worse things. Um, there really could. Listen, that's what everybody needs to do. Get those jello shots, and I want a photo of your face the moment after you slam the uh, old fashioned, like the gals did. This is tight, and this is great, and this is delicious, and I want to eat this before it melts. Now, Thank you kindly. You grew up in LA. You went to mm-hmm. Fairfax High. I went to Harvard Westlake. My Who grandfather Fairf- went there. Did somebody say Fairfax High? My grandfather went there. Oh. My dad went to mm. I think Northridge, and I went to Harvard Westlake. You went to Harvard Westlake. That's yeah. where all like uh, great quarterbacks come out of. Uh, I don't know I'm about take that. Take my word for it. Okay, I'm sure of it. <laughs> um, and you grew up. I grew up in L.A. at Water Village. Went to Mayfield. I've never heard of at Water Village. Are you never? Guys, are you guys at, spies? At Water Village <laughs> near Silver Lake, near Glendale. It's super hip now. It's super hip. Yeah, it really, turned. Yeah, it, it turned. turned. Yeah, it gentrified. It gentrified. Uh, and I, even Ew, Sh- Sherman Oaks, where totally I grew up, is now pretty hood. cool. So Sherman Oaks and Studio City have gotten quite cool. I go back there, and there was a bar we went to on Ventura called um, Black. Uh, what's it called? Black Market Liquor Bar. And it doesn't even have a sign because it's so cool. And then I went in there and I told the bartender, I was like, excuse me, I'm from Sherman Oaks, Ventura. This didn't used to be so cool. He's like, okay, order your drink and please move. It's like, no, no, no. I'm from around here. It didn't used to be so cool. This is a big deal. He's like, either order or get out. Like he had no patience for me I like because how I, guys I like, was too, I was behind the times. Yeah, it, but he's it, in the valley. He's bossing the but move. It's in cool. the, but it's still the valley. <laughs> Don't 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 play doorman with me in the valley. Well, amen. That was a big place. All respect to the eight one eight and people in other parts of the country don't realize the valley. It's like uh, I'm not going to say it. You say it. I mean, I don't know. I I uh, I think it's become pretty uh, luxurious over there, Studio City. Really? And yeah. And then you drive really over the hill. Schools. Then you go over to Santa Monica and you see the fog rolling in over the ocean. You go, yeah. oh my god, I've made a complete constellation decision. Yeah. No, I think I go. No, thank you to the fog. Really? <laughs> Why does it get in the way of your words that you make up? Um, yes, it it fogs the mind. Well, there's this there's this really <laughs> funny thing about people who grew up grew up in L.A. is that we don't ever really go to the beach that's true I go it's to a the weird beach thing almost every but you're day. you're not from, from LA. boston no from jersey jersey jersey, jersey. <laughs> oh you did say people from la yeah yeah, yeah. we oh. don't take we are uh, take it for granted you it's know it's funny thing. all the people i go to the beach with uh my friend sam is from boston and maine um uh, my priest father tim from saint monica's is from uh like way up like acton okay yeah it's it's interesting. Yeah. All the guys they go to the beach with. I mean, not. it makes sense. If I came here not from L.A., I would want to be there all the time. Because I just go to the Jersey about... Shore where everybody's orange. <laughs> Glazed carrot. And huge <laughs> muscles. And I was like a 105-pound wrestler with toe-head blonde hair. Like, hey, guys, at least I have big calves, right? <laughs> Beat it. It's awesome. At least you don't have the ears. Yeah, you see Foxcatcher? Yeah, St- I hope Steve, uh, um, was just, uh, Mark Ruffalo deserves to win the Oscar. It was totally. an incredible movie. A little slow for me, uh, but the wrestling, I wrestled yeah. my entire yeah, life. I, w- what do I you am think an about? absolute, absolute yeah. wrestling fanatic. Okay. okay. And if you want, um, you can YouTube Jay Moore, Save Olympic Wrestling. Okay. They played it at the U.S. Nationals and wow. the Internationals. Like guys from Iran, I just said it on my radio show up the cuff, like the second week I ever had my radio show because they were going to take wrestling out of the Olympics. So when I watch a wrestling movie... You want to see like yeah. Well, you, uh, there was one with uh, Giamatti, Paul Giamatti. There was a wrestling movie where he like took this kid in under his wing, like a foster kid, and taught. And you watch the movie and you go, "Oh, that's a wrestler that they taught to act." Like right. you can tell by the moves he's right. doing and stuff. Right. But the wow. fact that Channing Tatum and Mark Ruffalo, you know, were not wrestlers yeah. and had to learn it. It's the fastest wow. I've ever seen any. Like it is. Wow. Like I'm watching a wrestling tournament style wrestling. Wow. They even have like to have a watch, walk that's particular, like between with the hands scenes. out. Yeah. Like if you do like gay fey hands, like like stereotypical, like when you do like a gay like gay guy hands, like those like Mark Ruffalo, the, the whole hands. movie has his hands yeah. out like that because yeah. you're always yeah. just it, it's he sh- has to win the Oscar. Wow, yeah. He has to because by the way, and his back, 
He looks like he weighs 230 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Like Schultz did. Yeah, yeah, he looks a lot, you know, looking at the pictures after, it's a pretty interesting... Oh. Uh, did you see it? Yeah, of course. I mean... Did you like... Uh, did you like... Um, we really like Whiplash, my wife and I. Oh, we haven't seen that yet. Oh, We're hoping to... We might get the screener for that. Uh, the weekend. guy got nominated from mm-hmm. Law and Order. Mm-hmm. Yes. J.K. Simmons. Right. Emil Skoda. In Law and Order, <laughs> but how does the kid that play the drums not get fucking nominated? He did all the goddamn work. Yeah. He did the all whole the movie, drumming. The whole movie's about a kid drumming until his hands bleed, literally. Jesus. Which and he the did. Guy, he, yeah. And the guy Big going wow. more gets the nomination. Yeah. Keep drumming. The nomination goes to. If I'm that kid, I'm fucking <laughs> livid. <laughs> It's just Hollywood it's ageism. It's a weird thing how it happens. You yeah. know what happens? <laughs> Reverse ageism. That's when you don't get the good luck from uh, taking your Ludlow cocktails and, of course, your... Right. Oh, my it God. Co- I'm drunk on ice cream. That. It's my it second one. It's going down easy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm impressing you, aren't I? It's very really impressive. good use Excellent of the tongue. You're a yeah. good boy Excellent the way you eat technique. ice cream. And thank you. That's quite a compliment. I appreciate that very much. Um, well, these are the gals. It's Fair. Natasha Case and Freya Estrella, and they created something from nothing. And it's very important because uh, very rarely these days <laughs> that people have an idea and they just go out and do it and uh, achieve something uh, at this level. And it's damn Thank impressive. You. And I'm, I wanted to meet you guys. I've seen you on the Food Network. I read about you in Forbes, Forbes magazine. That had to have been an eye opener. I was 30 under 30. It's the way to go. Uh, who well, else? Unfortunately, Freya missed the cutoff by like a week. Otherwise, we would have been on it. <laughs> exactly. Again, always <laughs> relegated to you know. I'm yeah. your bitch. Um, I like how you make up words, Natasha Case. If you, if you ever do business with her, she's gonna throw words at you to get a better deal. So you think she's smarter than you, but she's from the valley, so she's really. <laughs> My middle name's Jenny. That's a little bit more, you know. She's regular. What was the word for profit without the EBITDA? Net? Huh? The EBITDA. What? EBITDA. <laughs> Ibda, we'll get you a shirt. Just like Ibeda. I love you in German. Ich bin liebe dich. Ibda. It used to just be Ibit and then became Ibda. How the fuck is Ibda profit? Because it's it's not exactly profit. It's taking into account other accounting terms. But you see how you like all, amortization, stop. interest. You already steer away from the question. How is EBITDA <laughs> profit? See, it's not really just profit. You're already like. Well, because Rrr. you may not want to factor in, for example, if you have a loan that's taking away from your bottom line. You is may, it an acronym? It's yes. Pro- yes. Thank you. Give oh, it to oh, me. Okay. Give me the letters. Uh, earnings. Uh, uh, before interest, uh, deductions, mm-hmm. taxes, taxes, and, and amortization. amortization. EBITDA. So it's like a pre-profit profit. D is depreciation, depreciation by the way. Sorry. Yes. It's like the karma police by Radiohead. <laughs> Arrest this girl. She speaks in maths. <laughs> that was that was about me. That could be the song instead of the Natasha song. You don't speak in maths and you don't buzz <laughs> like a fridge. Oh, okay, that's true. Freezer. But you maybe. do have a Hitler hairdo. <laughs> I do. No, that's what he says in the song. <laughs> I just had to keep going with it somehow. <laughs> I was like, she was shocked. First. She was shocked. I mean, the Hitler youth haircut is very in right now. As it we should don't be. have it though. That We're not those kind of, of lesbians. Yeah. And my mustache, I call it the Groucho. I don't call it the Hitler mustache. Yeah. I have a Groucho mustache. Yeah. All right. It's eatcoolhouse.com, H A U S. And of course, it's Ludlow Cocktails, uh, dot com. Send me your photos. You want to retweet? I'm going to give it to you. Use the Amazon banner at jmore.com to buy whatever the hell you want. I don't care what it is. Uh, just email me what you bought, and I'll read it on the air, of course. Uh, old-fashioned Moscow Mule. Yeah, buddy, get after that Moscow Mule. You know you 